And the Great Salt Lake is now more than four feet higher from when it hit record lows last year, and it is reaching another milestone in its recovery. Yeah, ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Cade Garner joins us from Box Elder County with all of the details. The causeway, which is that straight line you see cutting through the lake behind me, actually separates the north and south arms of the lake from one another. And earlier this year, the state increased the berm by five feet to keep as much water in the south arm of the lake as possible. Well, thanks to an incredible winter, water is now spilling over that berm. Governor Cox issuing an executive order to raise the berm along the Union Pacific Causeway at the beginning of the year, temporarily cutting the two sides of the lake completely off from one another. This was done to help decrease salinity levels in the south arm of the lake, which you see is the greenish color. If the south arm were to get too salty, brine shrimp, flies, migratory birds, and the industry that all rely on the lake could see devastating impacts. Now that water is spilling over into the north arm of the lake, Sovereign Lands Program Administrator Ben Steyerman says there is some sense of relief. This isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. This is one tool that we had that was uh, immediately available to us um, to, to help to modify that salinity. Steyerman says this is definitely a time to celebrate, but says it's also a time to continue working forward to save the Great Salt Lake. Reporting from Box Elder County, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.